What's good, YouTube? I'm Purple Heart Neptune. I'm back for another video. Last time we covered the first part of our Arc 2 part, which, since Titan doesn't want to edit out, edit hour long parts of over 8,000 pages, can't imagine why. We're going to be doing this in chunks now. So, part 2 will be split up into three chunks. This will be technically part three, but yeah, I'm rambling. Let's get on with the video. Welcome back to Data Live XDAC part three. Gio was found sitting on one of the couches of the cult research club the next day as Itze walked in. Itze looked livid. Gio knew why he tried to hold back a chuckle. So how was being a magical girl? Gio giggled. It took me a minute to figure it out. How to grant the, the guy's request, but I managed to pull it off. Is they replied, Oh, really? Of course not, you bastard. I can't even create great magical circles. So, what made you think I can turn someone into a magical girl? Eat say roared. Sorry, I can't be loud right now. Shio couldn't hold back his laughter anymore in between the laughter, so he managed to utter a couple words anyway. Pray for the real job, Shio said, attempting to calm himself down. A tear fell down Chio's face as he composed himself. Yeah, Itze responded. Chio grabbed Itze by the shoulder as he opened up the wormhole. The, the two teleported over to their next client's address. He stood at the front door and Chio knocked politely. The client answered the door who had, had a bizarre outfit on. You must be the demon, she asked. She was the first one to introduce himself. I'm Shio, and this is Itze. May I ask your name, miss? Shio asked in a polite manner. You know, Itze agreed nonchalantly. Oh my, well, my name is Susan, the girl said. What's your request, Shio asked. Her. My request is simple. All I ask is, is for help in taking these units these notes from the university and assisting and confessing in my love to confessing to my love Susan replied that don't sound pretty simple I can help you with that aspect just give me a little bit of time for that also uh, also if you want relationship advice I'm probably the best one one of the best people you can come for that sort of stuff she boasted thank you so much Susan squealed it didn't take long for Shio to connect the wormholes with Rosia and locate her notes. Once they were retrieved, the relationship with advice was their main concern. Hmm, how about a straight up confession? Shio asked the girl. I'm not sure how to put it into words. Ever thought about a love letter? The love letter? The girl blushed. Yeah, the stuff a bunch of schoolgirls do when confessing to their crush, basically writing out a declaration of love and slipping in somewhere for the guy to find, she explained. You know what? I like the idea that it'll work perfect better. After the love letter was written, they left in order to deliver the letter. Something that, that neither Itze or Shido were expecting was sort to be some sort of mating call. It didn't take long for another person in armor to appear. This must be the guy Susan was attracted to. Two of them had a duel of sorts of before they gave the letter was given to them. After reading the contents of the letter, the guy almost immediately worried out his own feelings for the girl. The scene was odd to say the least, but heartwarming as the people dressed in armor embraced each other in a hug. And in that evening, Shio walked with Itze. Wasn't that romantic? Shio said with some glee in his voice. Romantic, I mean, I guess so, but it's so bizarre. You didn't even see what was underneath the armor. Itze felt a little disappointed. True, but even so it was, Shio was cut off as he sent something. Itze, it's time for your newest lesson. How to, on, on how to talk to a popular girl, Shio said all of a sudden. Gio, of all the things you taught me throughout this time, this one would be the most useful. And this is assuming there's no catch to it. Gio then stopped her as the long indigo haired girl walked around the corner that EJ immediately recognized. Gio, are you serious? 
Why is it the most popular female gr- idol in Japan coming to talk to you? It was an absolute disbelief. He'd say you'll learn many things from me. With everything, with everything I've done so far, you shouldn't be all that surprised anyway. How are you, Miku? She, she asked. Miku, Miku ended up walking over Shio with a smile. Darling, she involved him in a hug so tight it was practically suffocating him. Ready for dress up? She whispered into in his ear. Miku, can, Miku, can I have to, 10 minutes top before I surrender my entire night for you after what happened last time? So I suddenly bailed on you despite war- warning you. She said knowing what she wanted. Miku powered but Miku powered a bit a little bit, but she allowed it. She released him from her grasp, allowing him to actually catch his breath. She folded her arms and looked up to Ize there. She didn't really know him sure that well. Sure, her darling mentioned him from time to time. But all honesty, she couldn't give two hoots about him. As long as she, he never tried to harm Shio or in any way or betray his trust, she was relatively neutral towards the brown haired pervert. So, Miku, I was thinking we grab dinner of your choice and you can. and you, and you can give me front row seats to your concert tonight for free. And we can have the usual backstage fun. Ha. Huh. How's that sound? She has said while keeping eye contact with her. Hmm, I like the sound of that. It's a date then. Miku looked on confused. And, uh, and how the heck is best man managed to get a really romantic partner in the form of an idol? It's just insane in his eyes. Yeah, they were devils and all. But seriously, Miku, do you mind going ahead a bit and text me where you want me up while I talk to my friend prepare myself in your preferred fashion? She has said looking at the idol. Uh... I don't earning anything for you, she replied. Thanks, dear. She she just says she walked around the corner. <sighs> You're wondering how I'm such a ladies man in such a year and a half. Right, she just said not turning to the red dragon emperor. He said simply not he was gawking at the other boys' performance at this point. He had a whole harem and in it a whole was a whole celebrity. He or she had no book on him at the moment to draw everything down there was so much he needed to learn from my friend from his friend come by before school tomorrow we will talk then i'll answer all your questions she has said so i'm turning to him all right dude any specific time mm, around 7 30 maybe because that's when Cody and the three meals middle scores Along with my Ari, will leave the house. She goes uh, directly. Seven thirty. All right. Now I'll bring three notebooks tomorrow. This information only comes once in a lifetime. Actually, maybe five will be better. She uh, smiled as he walked around the corner and caught the Miku before turning into Shiori in front of her. Your rules as usual. Shiori said with a smile. Miku. Miku looked at Shio before smiling and pulling out a dress. You know me so well, Shiori. Miku answered. Next day, as she is <sighs> the next day, as Ite walked to walk to Shio's place, he saw three girls. Two girl, two he recognized as Rio and Yoshino. Another one, well, who was also their size with gr- bow with green hair, was walking with them. I know you, your papa's friend. Rio explained. Inse looked at her and smiled a bit awkwardly. Yeah, that's we aren't right. Inse's attention wasn't really focused on her. on the, either of the two, though. It was on the green-haired girl. He tried making some moves on her, but as per usual, they didn't work. Uh, and I thought she was for very good gone. Whew. The green girl, the green-haired girl said, and saying, "Not doing that is a really nice thing to say about Shido." Yeah, you know, she said with sadness in his voice. Yeah, don't be mean about Papa, Rio said the ring girl, to the green-haired girl with a hint of anger in her voice. So, Natsu, I mean, that was this girl's name. Yeah, he heard of her. She matched the description all right. She was a bit of a drag, to be honest. All honesty. But this was his first time actually meeting the girl. She was... 
first one didn't even really speak bad about Cheeto and two it was very strange and he takes but huh? We're gonna you're gonna be late if you don't hurry not to not to me said trying to trying to avoid the brown hair pervert. Alright, I thought we were late. Later, Pop's friend, we had Mount Rio said the three being ran in the street in the opposite direction. As soon as he heard the word late, he immediately remembered what his true goal was he was for today. Make the Shido's place by seven thirty to get all the information he ever get he ever need from Shido. Now it's to become the harem king. He immediately broke up it broke into a sprint. As he think walked into what was basically their common room. Glad you can make it. Glad you can make it. It's it. Glad you can make it. She looked impatiently waiting for him. He said, "Pan began on thumbs up sign." All right, let's do. Let's do this. He said, "Shut him with every whatever you got." He said excitedly. She looked at you said with an exasperated expression on his face. He said, my friend, do you honestly believe I can recap a, a whole year and a half in, like, what, an hour? Look, just ask me whatever you want to know, and I'll answer to the best of my capability. She said with a slight depression in his tone. Okay, he said, said, he said, sat in a thinking for, he said, sat in a thinking position for a couple of seconds before asking, how do you keep peace between all the, those girls? Honestly, the peace somehow keeps itself when you take into account the lengths I went for in each and every one of these girls and their natural personalities pretty much everyone is friends here she spoke with a smile he said that down okay good to know next question she smiled as he laid on his couch what is this group therapy he takes all to himself how do you deal with the crazy ones he said asked Mm, I let Kaguya's high energy run well. For Miku, I, I play by her rules or risk the consequences. And Kermi, well, she, she says it when, whenever she isn't busy being a psycho causing problems that we just let happen. She goes said with a finger to his chin. I just said, stay away from, these cra- from the crazies. Have you ever had to deal with any of the arguments between the girls? You say ass. I thought my and Rio told you they happen all the time, Shio said directly. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot you to ask. Anyway, on, the, on to the next question. Did you ever have a rough start with any of them? He asked. Shio bellowed loudly at the question. Bro, almost all of them gave me a hard time at first. I think I could barely count on my hand. The amount that where they haven't given me troubles, and even those are questionable. Yeah, she say said, "No, to self stuck up on psycho repugnant." He say thought to himself, "What? What have you been? <coughs> what's something you have to put through, put it up with regularly that you and those girls would rather avoid? Basically, knowing that even if you go." To to sleep with one or two right beside you, you'll wake up with at least four times more at least. Shio dryly answered. Yo, you good dude? Shio felt, felt concerned as Issei fell to the floor with a slight feeling of defeat before him. When, when Ashia entered the room, Issei remembered the whole point of him being here. He spread back up like, like nothing happened. He didn't really get a chance to ask any more questions considering the time they had to get ready to go back to prison otherwise no school. They both got ready to leave for school, however she forgot something back at his house. Hey he said, go ahead with me. I'll catch up in a minute. And that's the part. Thanks for listening. Titans with Discord will be in the Titans channel and Discord will be in the description. I hope to catch you guys next time. Peace.